I saw a lot of criticism that this was an unlikable and poorly developed cast. Damon, correct me if I'm wrong, but are those people out of their fucking mind? Yeah, this to me, if I'm going to compliment the movie in terms of the cast, one of the biggest problems we had with Prometheus was the disconnect with the cast. It felt like we didn't care about any of them. And we said that very openly. That was one of the biggest problems with Prometheus. And, was, and it was even worse in Covenant. Yeah. Yeah. But we said with Alien, even though we never really know much about these people, we know right away that they've worked together to they've worked together for years, they've been a crew for a while, and they know each other very well. Aliens, same kind of thing. Ripley's the outsider, but then you realize this colonial m- marine group, they've been together for a while, just like when they wake up from their cryopods and and uh and uh um um Vasquez and why am I forgetting his name? Um Oh God! Uh, I know. Yeah, uh, Drake, Vasquez. Drake. And, yeah, and Drake, Drake. Yeah, they're doing the pull ups, and 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 you know, of course, you know, Hudson is doing the whole. You know, is anyone ever mistaking, mistaking you for a man? No, have you? You know, just they they have a rapport together. They talk about the missions they've done before, and you just know that, and so you get attached to that crew. I thought this was an incredibly well fleshed out cast, and I cared or didn't care about everybody. Rain, of course, the lead, Kaylee Spaney, was was incredible. Tyler, you see that relationship that they shared, ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, still kind of cared for each other, but they're not together anymore. Bjorn, uh, we didn't put it in the categories this week of our, you know, Mike from Blair Witch Project, the guy you'd most like to punch. There's about 10 times where I wanted to fucking soccer kick Bjorn in the face in this movie. Navarro's kind of like the badass pilot, but then you see the real fear in her eyes when she gets attacked by the facehugger. Kay is the younger sister of Tyler, who we find out is pregnant early on in the movie. She's all excited to go live on Yavaga because she actually gets to start a new life with her child in a new world where they're not going to be just living as drones of the Whalen yutani Corporation. I'm sorry. I, listen, everyone's entitled to their opinion. You're absolutely, I'm, again, I'm not even telling you you should like this movie. I'm telling you why I like this movie. I thought the cast was incredibly fleshed out, so I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah, I was like, I was so confused, and it was a consistent thing for the people who dislike this movie. And there is. There's plenty of people who are like, I hate Alien Romulus. And near the top of their list was this cast. They go, I didn't like them, and Fede Alvarez sucks at developing characters. And I was like, did you not watch the movie I watched? These are some of the best developed characters in the entire franchise. I'm, I, I don't believe I'm exaggerating. I believe, outside of Ripley, who is the best developed character of all of them, I think this is the best developed group of people ever in, in, the, in the franchise. We know why Rain wants to get off planet. It makes total sense. We, we you know, her brother, we get, we get just enough of his story to understand that he is this, you know, broken down droid and she takes care of him, even though he even, and you even learn those, those little things. Like you learn, yes, her dad retrieved him and, and, and got him to take care of her probably because her dad knew he was going to die of the black lung. He's like, someone has to be the protector of my daughter. They never hammer this over the head. They never shove it in your face. It's done so subtly, which is the genius of alien is how subtle you understand these people. It's done here as well with Rain and Andy. Um, the relationship between Rain and Tyler is never thrown in your face. They never even say boyfriend, girlfriend, but everybody knows it. It's on the face of every character. They give it to you. They show it to you. They don't say it to you. This is high level shit. This is high, high level. This is A plus character development. 